Hey guys, today I'm sharing some Halloween activities, just fun stuff to do with your littles in preparation for the holiday coming up. Hope you enjoy. We are gonna start with some Halloween themed balance work. So get a spoon. I used a big kind of kitchen spoon for my daughter and I used a smaller one for my littler one. And then I have a bigger pumpkin for my older one to balance to kind of make it a little bit more tough. And I have some small erasers here for my little one. Once they had them on the spoons, I kind of just had them walk to the end of the carpet was their goal and then to turn around and walk back. You could make this a special line or something. Once my older daughter had done it with a bigger pumpkin for a while, she wanted to do the small erasers like my other daughter. So then we turned it into walking back and forth and trying to get all of the erasers back in this little container here for some extra fine motor practice. This was super fun for them and they did it more times than I would have expected. For the next activity, I got this divided tray, which was from the Dollar Tree, and some of these little Halloween erasers. These are from Target, Dollar Spot. It's cheaper than Dollar Tree. Um, then I put one of each kind in each of the divided areas and then had my daughter try to sort them. So it's just a basic sorting activity. To make it a little more difficult, you could give them tweezers and try to have them tweezer the ones in there. It is definitely more difficult for them and makes the activity last a lot longer. You could then turn this into a sequencing activity or a letter making activity and use them the um, erasers to do, make letters or words or something. So you can use these erasers in a lot of different ways, but just for simplicity, sorting is great. For this next activity, you need um, some little eyeballs or spider rings or, you know, something really light and cheap from like Dollar Tree or Target Dollar Spot. And then you need a little container. Um, this is a Halloween container I found at Dollar Tree, but any container will do. And then you'll need a straw. My kids didn't want to be filmed, so you get me. You're then going to use the straw to try to blow the said objects into the container. If getting them into the container is too hard for the little ones, then you could just do a line for them to cross because getting into the container is a little bit tough. Um, so it just depends on their age and their frustration level and what they're willing to do. My oldest and middle child really liked this game, but it was too difficult for my youngest. So what she really liked to do was take the container and the eyeballs and just put them in the container or roll them into the container, take them out, put things back in. It was basically just a fine motor putting things in, putting things out for her. The next activity is a sensory activity and I am doing it this way for filming purposes, but I do not recommend this. I would recommend doing this in your bathtub where you can strip your kids and um, have a little bit more water and make it warm for them, especially in the fall when it's a little colder. Anyway, what you're gonna need is some water and then I put purple food coloring in just to make it a little more fun. It would be better with a clear container or in a bathtub because you can see it, but anyway. Then you're gonna wanna add some googly eyes, just makes it fun and spooky for Halloween. Now, if you have a little who still puts things in their mouth, you're gonna wanna make sure you really watch this and make sure they don't swallow any of these. Mine doesn't, so I don't have to worry about that, but um, just fair warning. Now, what I did was I did provide some scoops and a slotted spoon, and the activity could be, one, you just play with it and just have fun in the water. The other one could be that you use the spoon or the ladle to try to get the googly eyes into another container, so more of a transferring activity. This was really fun for my older daughter. She really liked that challenge and using the slotted spoon. For the last activity today, I got some white streamer. You could also use toilet paper, but I had some on hand. And I am just crisscrossing all over this area to make a spider web. This does not have to be elaborate. Kids have a great imagination, so just put some up and they will believe that it's a spider web. Don't worry. Once we had it all set up, I then gave her like a little spider that she could put in the web and she loved to just like pretend. And this kind of became her fort for the day. Oh, that's so spooky. Do you love it, Joel? <laughs> so then like I said it became their fort so they did their coloring in here they had their snack in here they just loved hanging out in their spider web all right that's all for the day just quick and easy things you can do with your littles hope you enjoyed them let me know if you try them out hit that subscribe button give this video a like and I will see you next time bye